Uh, that concludes our speakers. I have no more cards. Um, at this point, I would like to offer some direction to the staff. Um, as you've heard today, many of the speakers were calling for the board to censure uh, Supervisor Miller for her remarks, either by demanding an apology or by um, asking her to resign. I would direct the county attorney to prepare a memorandum that outlines what the board's authority uh, is in this instance, what, what ability we have uh, to censure uh, Supervisor Miller for those remarks. I know that won't come as an attorney-client privilege memo. I would then ask that that memo uh, be put on uh, the Board of Supervisors agenda on September 5th uh, so that uh, should the board choose, we can um, release the memo and, uh, not, and give up the attorney-client privilege nature of that memo. I would further instruct uh, staff uh, there was one speaker here today who uh, referenced a public records request that Supervisor Miller made, uh, made uh, as a, and there was an attorney-client privilege memo uh, attached to that. I would ask that that memo be put on the board's agenda on September 5th, so if the board chooses, uh, we can uh, waive the uh, attorney-client privilege and, and publish that information. And then I, I think as I hear all the speakers today, um, there is real concern for the healing process. I myself have concern about all the hate speech we are seeing and all the hate crimes that have, have increased uh, since um, January of this year. And I want to instruct staff to prepare something for the board uh, that shows what Pima County is uh, is doing or can do uh, to educate people about hate crimes and to lessen uh, their intensity in this community. And that's uh, my uh, my direction to staff, Supervisor Elias. I don't know if you have any comments at this point. Well. The one comment I wanted to make, because I agree with, with all the comments that you just made, and I think those are perfectly reasonable requests that make sense. And so um, I agree with you, and I'd like to see those issues resolved at our next Board of Supervisors meeting. Um, in addition, I, I question um, the memo that Ms. Miller put out with her public records request. Um, it, my understanding is that memo was, was sent to several county employees. I'm not sure that that's our role, and I think there's a division between what county supervisors can do uh, in terms of directing staff, as opposed to what Mr. Huckleberry could do, directing uh, employees what they're supposed to be able to do. So it could be that, that there's some malfeasance there that we need to address and make sure it does not happen again. So I think uh, some kind of response from our county attorney on that is appropriate as well. Supervisor, I'm um, Supervisor Christie, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm used to going from right to left. I'm usually on the right. I, <laughs> um, I have no problem or objection with what you requested. However, if we're going to go that far, uh, I think it would be appropriate that there be some sort of analysis of uh, county employee behavior. I haven't heard anything regarding uh, Jason Ground's uh, issues of uh, threatening violence against Ms. Miller, of using profanity towards a sitting county supervisor. I heard nothing from my fellow board members about denouncing that type of behavior. I didn't see any of the media other than the Arizona Daily Star uh, give the interest and attention to that uh, type of behavior of a county employee uh, perpetrating uh, such abuse on county time. So, uh, Madam Chair, I would ask that if we're going to go to the lengths that you've just recommended, which I see nothing wrong with doing, that we also direct uh, the county administrator or the appropriate department heads to uh, re-examine uh, uh, protocol and behavior by county employees in the same vein. 
Thank you, Supervisor Christie. Any further comments? All right, with that, we've been sitting since 9 o'clock this morning.